And here, here, here we are with yet yeah, yeah, the, the fourth and final mem member of, 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 of the great Motorhead. Motorhead. Yeah, yeah. I know, I used to have one when I was a kid. D Stuttering Danny D, ace it with Lemmy from Mo Motorhead. It's amazing, you got a job as an interview, isn't it? Really? Yeah. You know. I don't even get paid for it, but uh, you can like you can tell. But uh, yeah, yeah. So, so, so let's. So I've got proof that me and Lemmy have met before. Here, this is Foundations Forum in 1990. Yes. And then again in 1991. I got to go by you. And, and, and once, once, once again, I said he was getting really sick of me right there. Yes, I was. <laughs> As indeed I saw him too. Three minutes. <laughs> and we had an out of control interview with Wizzo and. Uh, and as we found out from Wurzel and Mickey Zoom. D, that, or Zoom, I mean, what's up with these, this identity crisis he's having? It's not a crisis, it's for you to have a crisis. <laughs> he knows exactly who he is. Yeah, well, I've always known it as Phil Campbell, but all of a sudden, like, the press is in with, with Wurzel and Wizzo, then, then Zoom, I mean. It's, I, very, it's tricky, isn't it? Yeah, it's, it's very... this last album, he's called Stiletto Heels. Stiletto Heels. I mean, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and, and this, still, for sure. And this cra crazy wig that he's got on and stuff. That's not crazy, that's an average wig. <laughs> the idea of wearing a wig is crazy. Yes, it is. <laughs> yeah, but, 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 but I know neither you nor me wear a wig. <laughs> no, not yet. Yeah, no, not, not, not yet. But as, as we're saying, this, this is the uh, new, new, new Motorhead album, Bastards. How true. Yes, yes. Yeah, you should, should, so I'll, I'll go. Well, just, that just... Penny of a hundred dollars. We're letting it go at twenty. Isn't that good for us? <laughs> yeah? Really, really, it's twenty. I, I bought it for about ten bucks myself. Well, send me the ten. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, de 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 definitely will. And yeah, you know, this this is just, you know, great, great album. Actually, actually, well, we're we're going on 20 years now. Motorhead's approaching their 20th anniversary next yes, year. Yes, we are, aren't we? Yeah, and 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 so, and so. I knew that. Yeah. <laughs> you, know, you of all people ought to, ought to know that better than I would. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So do you have, do you have any plans for a big uh, 20th anniversary bash like you did with your 10th anniversary? Yeah, we're gonna get Rucker Wells to slide down the razor blade for us. <laughs> Really? That's all? I'm not, not, not destroying your secret dream. I'm not sorry about it. <laughs> yeah. No, no, they found that. New, 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 new album. There's a lot of great so songs, songs on, on, I on there. I think it's the best one we've ever done. You, you, really, you really think so? Yeah, I do. My first album was uh, Another Perfect Day. That was the first album I bought in 83, and I think that's a great one, too. It's a good album that we got slated at the time, but they didn't like Brian, you see. Yeah, what, what, why do you th th think that? Well, he was dressing green shorts to go on stage, you know. People sort of took a bit of a dim view of that, like, especially the Hells Angels when we did the Hells Angels gig. Really? <laughs> Came on stage in green shorts, the guy said, let's kill him. <laughs> oh, no. The guy said, no, he's the new guitar player. So I don't care, let's kill him anyway. <laughs> oh, no. So that, that, that's, what, that, that's what happened to Brian Robertson. I'm afraid so, yes. Green shorts happened to Brian Robertson. <laughs> Where oh. he is now, I don't know. I used to introduce him as Benny Rabinowitz, our new half Scottish, half Jewish guitar player. Yeah. He didn't like that either. Yeah. Brian Robinson, quite yeah. often. That was good. Yeah, so it's like, what are your, what, 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 what do you feel are the most standout songs on the new album? I don't know, man. It's up to you to decide that, not yeah, that's me. Up to me, Sadie. Yeah, well, I, I really, I really like "Born to Raise Hell" a lot. That's, I that's... like them all. That's the most obvious. That's the most immediate one. I just like, I like them all. Yeah. So it's the first album ever I made that I liked every song on it. That song, Don't Let Daddy Kiss Me, that song was really disturbing for, like, for me to listen to. That song was a real heavy topic you deal with it's supposed there. Supposed to be. Yeah, well, yeah, no, 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 no kidding. And, and it, like, like, that's a good song. But sometimes I have, tr just, just, you know, you know, I have trouble listening to that song just because it's just basically a subject, you know, you, you really don't want to think about. So everybody it. sweeps under the carpet. Yeah. So the kids go on getting molested. Right. Smart move. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I know. I'm, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's definitely. Oh, here's my secretary, Miss Proops. Yeah. Uh, is anyone not drinking? No, you were you, You've had enough to drink tonight. tonight uh, Who this... fucking says so? <laughs> 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 oh, uh, hello, hello, Phil. And uh, I found that you were lying. That was a I complete lie about. Somebody said you were a wizard. What do you say? <laughs> Who gives a fuck? Names are names are you stiletto heels. He's not wearing stiletto heels. Talk about something that will challenge the world. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I'm, I'm, Stalin. Yeah, I'm, I'm trying, trying, yeah. I'm trying, trying to do, do that. But hey, it does. When, when you're tour, touring with uh, Ozzy, did you guys play, play I Ain't No Nice Guy After All live on that tour? Any yeah, we time played at all? it on the last tour, too. In really? Europe. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, you guys actually. actually don't do another. Yeah, of course not, because Ozzy's not here. No, you're not here. 
No, I'm not here. No. You no, know, no. I got the same birthday as Ozzy. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. But of course not. It wasn't not. the same year, was it? So you hardly no. claim no. parity. You know? Yeah. <laughs> 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 that, 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 that's right. Just, just, just a parody. Yeah, but say it is... Parity. A, yeah, parody or something like that. A parity. I said you can <laughs> hardly claim parity. <laughs> okay. Do you know what parity means? <laughs> yeah, yeah, it's, it. it's a satire. It's a spoof. Uh. No. Well, tell, no, tell, no. Everyone, tell everyone, last night you won the World Snap Championship. <laughs> <laughs> what's, what's a snap championship? Huh? What's a snap? A, oh, never mind. <laughs> never mind. <laughs> um, anyway, pa parity is P-A-R-I-T-Y, right? It's yeah. a word that means, like... You're at the same level. Oh, at the same level. Yeah, if you have parity with some other person, then that means you're at the same level they're at. Ah. In whatever. Ah, uh, I see. The subject is. Uh -huh. Got it? Yeah, yeah, yes, sir, I got it. Okay. A little history here, Danny. Yeah, I know, I, know, I know, but I'm sure they, they talk about their history. Aid, uh, you I'm, know. Sh I'm sure they talk about their history all the time. I, I definitely want to talk a little bit more about the new album, Bastards, but you, you, you should all I didn't talk about my history. You were. Yeah, I know, I know, I know. All, every interviewer talks to you about your history, don't they? Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. What, what questions? Good thing it was my best subject in school, wasn't it? <laughs> I know. Well, actually, all your lyrics, a, lot, a majority of your songs deal with history. You really got this thing, thing about talking about old war, old war and stuff. A lot of your songs are about war, like history lessons in war. It's the most popular pastime we have. Yeah. There's always one going on. You're never short of wars, are you? you know? Yeah, yeah. I, I, I guess now that it, you can always blame someone else and attack him with tanks. You know, what I mean, it's great fun. Yeah. We won't stop either. <laughs> City kids too. Oh, really? Yeah. I, I just want to say this is something. the original City kids. I sang the original. Yeah. yeah. This is something I want to say. This is this is off off the record. You know, jacket. bands are always saying that. how they kind of look out for the fans. I just want to say I saw offhand. Uh, last time Motorhead was, was in town, I was selling shirts to the organization. We were on the support bill, and uh, the t Lemmy felt the T-shirts were priced too high, and he told the T-shirt guy to mark them down. His exact words were, "Hey, these kids are either playing a lot of." A lot of money again. I'm not going to rip them up. I have them pay that much money for the shirt. Those are my shirts. So you mark the price down, and we're not going to sell it. Is exactly what Lemmy said. Those people would have paid 20 bucks, but Lemmy had them mark down. Lemmy, I just want to shake your hand and say well, thanks for looking out for us. Why should you cheat the fucking kids just because you can? Right. I would have paid 20 dollars for those shirts myself. I would. Have. Uh, I'm going to sleep the rest of my life, man. I don't want to do. It. Yeah, like money's not important. It's, it's the benefit of the fans. I think that's so, so good. It's the fucking so sting out of being poor. I'll tell no, you. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. I like motivated even, even, even more now, not, not just to the music, but how, how they care about oh, treat their, to that. Treat their fans. And, uh, oh shit, I just yeah. wanted to give you a taste. I oh, raised a lot of stock cards that played your motorhead on my stock cards. Yeah, and I'll just check it out later on. Give a keychain too. Yeah, I used to paint a motorhead on my stock cards. What's that? I did pretty good. I got second. But I had a couple of guys. What do you guys mean? I'm part of Stone I, mean, I know San Francisco has definitely been one of your uh, favorite places to play, I'm sure. Where, here? Yeah. Not in this place. 
No, yeah, well, not not uh, in this particular yeah. club. I know, I, I, I know, no, no, it's been. This isn't a club. This is a fucking warehouse. Yeah, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's a warehouse, but yeah, yeah, it'll do, it's to, to fill all the Motorhead fans. I know you mentioned San Francisco in the song "Stone Deaf in the USA" off Rock and Roll, one of my favorite albums. Uh huh. Yeah. And, and, now he's and, talking about history. Yeah, <laughs> but um, hey, 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 I, I hear that. Who gives a fuck what your favorite albums are? I'm sure yeah, okay. nobody well, knows. I, I don't care what your favorite album is, okay? <laughs> but uh, <laughs> hey, I'm trying to do an interview here and get you publicity. You can't kill me, and then I'm it's and I'm getting you a good interview. Yes, you are. <laughs> Yeah, well, I've meant to bring you a Reese's peanut butter cups, and I forgot to, but, uh... See? Right. See? A box over there. See how thoughtless you are? <laughs> yeah, like, how can you blame him if he goes berserk mad now? Uh, you guys, you guys uh, I don't know what, what would be the crazy thing Motorhead's ever done, but, um... Hey, I, I know, every, most of the time... Signed with the record company, I think. Yeah, yeah, pro 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 probably so, so it's all, all, all their fault. Crazy thing they've done in an interview. Remember that time it, ah. we walked out of the dressing room in the middle of an interview? Yeah. And then we didn't come back. Yeah. Oh. Well, there they, there they go. That's Motorhead. I didn't even get finished with them, but oh well.